to me a disappointment from my politicians. And I think I'm going to go to and explain from my military experience. So there's a story that I haven't shared with a lot of people, but um, one time I was in Saudi and, and we were downtown and there was a bombing at the training center there. And so then we headed to uh, the Air Force Base and then as soon as we got to the base there, there was another bombing. So the first thing we did was we donned all our chemical gear, right? We protected ourselves first. Then we went out and we protected all our equipment. So we started closing up all the aircraft and putting in the engine intakes and the tires and everything. And during this point, it was kind of a panic for a lot of people. And uh, we actually locked an engineer. We worked with a lot of civilian engineers. We locked him in an airplane. He opens the cockpit and he's like, let me out, let me out. And so we had to go back and open up this aircraft and let him out. And then we all went home and then we made sure that our place was completely secure. Because we didn't know. It was the unknown, right? We, didn't, we knew there was bombings, but we didn't know what the effect was. And at that point in my life, I really thought I was never going to see my family again. I really thought that I was never going to leave the de desert and this was going to be the last time, that last time that I saw my family would be it, right? And so eventually, you know, we made it home. But I, I want to let you know that through exposure, we're granted understanding. And with that understanding, we're granted enlightenment. And so through this journey and this process of this COVID, the first thing I realized is that so many of our elected officials had never experienced anything traumatic in their life. They've never experienced war. They never experienced the chemical or the unknown threats. And because of that, they haven't really given us really great guidance through this journey and this process. They didn't know what to do. And so they looked to other people, right? And sometimes that information was correct and sometimes it wasn't correct. Um, but the thing is, I want you to realize is that you have a voice and you have a choice and you have an opportunity to speak to these representatives. And if you don't get the response that you're looking for, you also have the opportunity to vote those people out. And I'm gonna really encourage you to utilize your voice and seek in a positive manner some type of resolution through this. And the other thing I wanna bring up through this as well is that you know, our economy is really, 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 really struggling. And it's gonna struggle even more. There's a ripple effect. So I want to give you another analogy. I used to own a restaurant in Kansas City, and years ago they voted to increase the minimum wage. Well, the first thing I did was I went home and I pulled out my spreadsheets and I looked to see, okay, if I raise my price by this amount, you know, I'm going to lose probably about 10% of my customers. And so then this is going to be my food cost. This is going to be my labor cost. This is everything that I'm going to pay in taxes. So I went through and I spent a whole weekend analyzing and figuring out what I should do because what happens is, and people don't a lot of times realize this, is that the consumer always pays. If they're going to raise minimum wage, if they're going to raise taxes, if they're going to raise anything, a business owner itself to stay profitable has to increase, right? It's, it's price of cost of goods of everything, right? So this is a huge ripple effect. So I want you to think about right now what's truly occurring in our economy. Because there's a little town around the corner for me in Evergreen that generates about 13 million a month in tax revenue. And it's completely closed down. It's a casino town. That's just one little town, right? And that's generating 13 million. So this economy has lost an enormous amount of tax revenue for those elected officials that we've paid for, right? That we've put them in office to manage our money, to manage our health, our well being, our resources. They're, they're going to still want their money. They're still going to want their paycheck. They're still going to want to live in their million-dollar houses and do everything they do, right? What is going to occur, and, and mark my words on this, is they're going to raise our property taxes, and they're going to raise your state and local taxes. So the taxes you start paying on goods and services over the next few months, at some point, they're going to raise that because they're going to need that revenue again, okay? So I want you to realize the long-term effect of what's occurring through this whole inter entire journey. That the loss of revenue from every single person that's working from every business is a huge negative ripple effect. And so through this, I want you to find encouragement. 
through this whole process, I want you to find joy. I have realized that more and more people are spending time with the people that they really love, the people they really care. They're spending time in nature. So through this weekend, at this weekend, this juncture, it's Friday, I want you to find an opportunity for self-care to the highest. I want you to find an opportunity to relax as much as possible and to find love and acceptance. And if your mother's still alive, I want you to reach out to her and just tell her thank you so much. Thank you for everything that she's done for you and everybody else. I hope everybody has an amazing Mother's Day. I don't want this to be completely, totally negative, but I want you to live in reality of what's really occurring long-term and short-term with our economy and with the elected uh, officials that we have. This really should be a time where politicians are working together, that Democrats and Republicans are doing what they can to make us healthy and happy and whole and at peace and not fighting against each other. They should really truly be servants for us. And I want to let you know that if there's anything that I can do for you, especially if you're a veteran or essential personnel, that Warriors Ascent is going to be hosting once again this month an online academy of healing. So if there's anybody you know that might need a little help, a little support, we are there for those people. I love you guys. I truly care for you. I really want this weekend to be amazing for each and every one of you. Uh, send your mom a text and let her know that you love her. Give her a call. Whatever that method is, but let that person know in your life that you love and care for them. I really hope this weekend you take some extra, extra long time to reset, to recover, to rebuild. I love you. I hope you have an amazing weekend. Namaste.